Now let's look at the next example problem, merge sort. This problem, the, the only purpose is to introduce the merge sort algorithm. So the problem itself is uh, uh, not that interesting. The idea of uh, merge sort uh, is, are given on this slide. And in fact, um, um, you've uh, programmed the key part of that, which is given two sorted lists merge it into uh, one list that is uh, uh, sorted. So that can be done uh, in linear time. Um, so given that, uh, to sort an array, we can divide it into two halves. Uh, so if it's an odd number, uh, one will be uh, contain one more element than the other, but roughly balance two halves. And then we recursively sort them. Um, after both halves are sorted, then we can merge them. So this also uses uh, recursion because um, uh, we need to recursively solve the, the two halves. Um, and uh, recursion works because there's a base case. So when we are dividing uh, until there's only a single element, then it's already sorted. Uh, so in fact, um, uh, when we are dividing it, when there are just uh, a few elements uh, left, uh, we can uh, stop using this idea. We can use uh, 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 some of the simpler sorting algorithm like uh, insertion sort, uh, which while it's uh, working in quadratic time, uh, when there are just uh, a few elements, uh, uh, it, it's actually as fast as uh, uh, any other uh, sorting algorithm. So essentially, when we divide the array into small enough uh, part, then we know how to sort it. And given that, and we can merge sorted arrays into bigger ones, then that's uh, how we, we do merge sort. So this is also an example of divide and conquer because uh, we literally divide the array into two parts and then solve each of them individually. So in this case, after we divide and solve the each of them individually, we need to merge them. So that takes uh, uh, takes a linear time. So compared with the quick sort, uh, we first do the division. The division part takes linear time, and after the division part, um, uh, in quick sort, after division part, we just need to sort subarray and then we are done. So here, the division part is trivial. In merge sort, division part is trivial because we literally just divide them into two uh, balanced half. Uh, but after sorting each portion, we need to merge them. And the time complexity uh, is n log n for the same reason that uh, the average case complexity of quick sort is n log n. And in fact, in this case, it's a worst case guarantee because uh, we get to choose how to divide. So we can always divide them uh, balancedly. So we can guarantee that there's at most a log n level. And for each level, the, the complexity is uh, linear. So overall, the complexity is the worst case n log n. So, uh, so far, these are all very nice. Uh, but um, the one thing that's, that's uh, not so nice about merge sort is we need the uh, extra uh, memory. So we'll need uh, at least one extra array. Um, so so when, we, when we merge, we are merging from two array into a new one. So merging from two parts into a, into a new array. So we need uh, an extra array uh, during this uh, process. Um, and in fact, um, um, if we are not careful, then we may actually use uh, n log n extra memory. But if we are uh, the code is written carefully, this can be done with just an O n extra memory. Um, so let's uh, look at the, the, the code. So first I want to show the version that use the n log n extra memory because it's uh, conceptually easy to understand. Um, so after this, then we'll show how to do it, reduce the actual amount of actual memory from n log n to just uh, a big O n. So um, the base case is uh, when we are trying to sort a real one element, we simply return. Uh, otherwise we, um, divide this uh, into two halves. Um, and we make a, we create a two temporary arrays, B and C. Uh, e together, they have the same size and, uh, as A. And then we initialize B and C by copying, uh, basically copying first half of A into B and second half of A into C. Uh, after that, we just uh, recursively sort B and C. And then finally, we merge uh, B and C into A. So, um, that so this use n logging actual memory because uh, in this call we allocated the uh, two new arrays and together they have the same size as a and this will happen at the next layer of recursive call because they're logging layers so we actually 
uh, allocated and login actual memory. So now let's look at the, this uh, merge code uh, in a little bit more details. Uh, there are a few ways to do it. Um, they are all fairly similar. So here uh, I'm going to show two ways. Uh, the first way is we are trying to merge B and C into A. So we have three in the indexes um, into A, B, and C. Um, so when we when we are doing this kind of a two pointer pointing to two arrays, uh, one idea is uh, we have an outer loop for one of the pointers. So in this case, we have an outer loop for J. So we look at each element in B. And uh, before we add that element to the array A, we need to look at whether there are elements smaller than B in C. So this loop here will uh, check for any element that's uh, smaller than the current element in B we are looking at, we will add those into, into A. So uh, that's what this loop does. And once we, are, we get out of this loop, that means either we run out of element from C or the, the current element CK is uh, greater than or equal to BJ. So in that case, we can add BJ to A. So um, uh, this is actually, uh, but we, we pref when two elements in B and C are equal, we will uh, put the element in B first. This will achieve uh, stability, um, which uh, quicksort generally, uh, generally violate. So, uh, we have a double loop, uh, out, outer loop goes through array element for B, for each element we uh, go through, uh, uh, we, we, we look at um, uh, element in C to see which one need to be inserted be, be before the current element in B. So the in indices in C will uh, also just move uh, move once. So even though it's double double loop, it's actually, uh, the complexity is actually linear because um, um, because uh, the, the indice K never goes back, so K can only increase. So uh, maybe in one of this loop, K, we, we actually, this inner loop is executed many times. We actually copy a, a lot of element from C to A, um, but that means that in later, um, uh, the, the, the iterations, there'll be fewer elements in C to be copied. So essentially we copy everything in, in B into A once, everything in C into A once, and the indices only move from front to back uh, and never goes back. So this uh, ensure the total complexity is linear. So this merging part is linear. So after we get out of this loop, uh, if there are remaining element in, in C, we will copy that uh, into A. Um, so these are the elements that are bigger than all the ones in B, so those uh, comes after. Uh, greater than or equal to the biggest element in B. So that's uh, uh, one version. Uh, another version is uh, instead of looking at uh, B and C, we, we look at A. So we look at, uh, we need the next element for A. Now, where does that come from? So that's the high level idea of this uh, implementation. I uh, is uh, uh, indexed into A and we keep uh, uh, incrementing. Um, and um, so, so we check whether uh, this is actually, uh, so this is, um, uh, yeah, this code actually needs to be uh, slightly uh, updated um, yeah, because I use a different version. So, So, so long as uh, we're not done, uh, we haven't uh, filled all the elements in A, uh, we will keep going. So we check if um, we are already at the end of B, then that means the next element has to come from C. Uh, otherwise, uh, if we are already at, at the end of C, then the next element has to come from B. Otherwise, that means uh, we are neither at the end of B nor at the end of C. So there is a current element from B and a current element from C, so we compare them. Uh, if the guy from B is bigger, then we will use uh, the uh, the element from C. Um, otherwise, we'll use the element from uh, from from B. So uh, here, be, uh, every time I do the assignment, I will increment uh, both the the I indices and the corresponding indices into the array. So that's the the second version of uh, merging. And um, so here, I want to uh, take a break and. Uh,